Hello and welcome back to Robert's Rebellion. So, um, well, we're pretty much done with the rebellion part of this because we've really not got a lot. Like, we're we're very stable in the realm. We're going to be marrying this lovely Dornish lady. And we're going to be pretty secure. So this might end up being the last episode. I'm not sure yet. If we get some wars or something, then we may change. But it seems to me like we're very, pretty much at peace and everything is fine. False claims that she started to show signs of pregnancy after your last night of lovemaking, but she says he'll drink some moon tea to prevent any scandalous birth. Um, uh, what, what would we say? Um, at least the secret is safe. I don't know. I don't think we would really care. I don't think she would probably come to us, but, um, I don't know. At least your secret is safe. There we go. Go with that. My courtier, Sir Gadden Wild, expressed his desire to get married again. Of Yes, of course, because we killed his wife. Um, sure, marry as you please. Who's he married this time? Dalla. I hope you live longer. Lord Paramount John of the Vale revoked the High Lordship of the Sisters from Lord Tristan of Sunderland. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm letting the game run at speed 5 because it seems to run very well at speed 5 now. So, um, while nothing's happening, we're just going to kind of let it run. Uh, Lord Paramount Mace of the Reach declared the Reachman Standfast as your war over Standfast on Sir Martin of Standfast. Yeah, it should definitely be underneath you. Um, I could have just given him the title if he'd wanted. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, there's nowhere else like that, is there? Mm, doesn't look like it. Um, okay, so we've got a new commander to... Oh, wait, you can righteously imprison Commander Richard because he is trying to replace Lord Stance Baratheon as Master of Arms. Um, well, we would definitely not like that. And the Grafton is trying to kill Lord Mark of Gultown. Well, you're definitely getting imprisoned. Because um, that's not on. Uh, you... Um, I mean, sure. We'll, we'll try and imprison you. Right. And let's have our trials. Which one first? Let's go for Commander Richard first. Um, oh, cool. I like this. This is great. This screen is so much improved. It tells you what order things are likely to be um, proceeding over trials. So, it goes Triarch, High Judge, uh, Moonsinger, Venerable Elder, Regent, Forester, Sentinel... Intra oh, that must just be for if you're playing as the Foresters. I didn't know they had their own stuff. Castilian. So we have a... We don't have a Regent. We don't have a High Judge. I don't think we can have a High Judge, can we? Um, we can have a King's Justice, which isn't, isn't a High Judge. Okay. So that would lead into that. Okay. Yeah, that leads into it being the Castilian, which means that the trial should be preceded over by Lord Paramount John. If we have got this right. Which I think we have. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Richard Thorpe has demanded trial by combat. Never mind. And is summoning his champion to King's Landing. Your Grace, I humbly ask you to intervene on my behalf against the aggression of Lord Paramount Mace Tyrell, who is invading my lands in obvious contravention to the peace of the realm. I would be eternally grateful for your support in this matter. Yours, Sir Martin of House Osgrey. Um, what do we want to do here? Um, I mean, we'd probably just say nothing. I mean, we actually like Mace more, and he is a Lord Paramount. We'll just let him do what he... What do I care? Exactly. Yeah, this isn't our job to, uh, police the, uh, the Reach. A month has passed, and the Commander Richard has failed to find a champion for his trial by combat. Now he must stand trial before the court. Uh, Commander Richard of King's Landing has demanded trial before the court, which Lord Paramount John shall oversee. Perfect. Um, strutting back and forth, Lord Paramount John massively questioned the accused, and he made a strong case. A verdict has been reached. Lord Paramount John claims Richard of House Horp is guilty. Well, given that he was one of our commanders in the war, we will just send him to the wall. There we go. We've got the uh, city of King's Landing back. Which I think we give away with the Gold Cloak title. Could be wrong there. Um, King Robert Baratheon, I hereby invite you to participate in the tourney of Duskendale, where the best knights and lords of the Crown Land shall be invited to compete. Yours, Renfred Riker, Lord of Duskendale. Well, of course we're going. Commander of the Gold Cloaks. Um, we could put Gowan Wild in charge. Definitely seems like an alright option. There we go. That gave away the extra thing. And then we just need one more, com well, two more commander slots. Two more com commander slots. Probably shouldn't need these in the end, but um, Giles probably is fantastic. And then uh, Gunther of Roseby. Yeah, he'll do. Cool. 
and we'll let that roll on. Your vassal was granted a seat on the Council of Most Devout. My liege, I've tried to make Sir Eric of Thornton Hall realise what benevolent peaceful ruler you really are, but sinister forces at his court have been hard at work to discredit my every move, distort my every word. I'm afraid in the end the visit uh, seems to have done more harm than good. Well, luckily I didn't really care about uh, the Ball's opinion of us. Um, we really wanted you to improve opinions with his liege. So, that's fine. So, Martin of Standfast accepted Lord Paramount Mesa of the Reach's peace offer. Good, good. Reach is all now and together. The guards drag Marwyn Grafton. I knew there was something I forgot. Up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says. By right of birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. So, Lynn Corbury will be my champion. Hmm. Okay, Lynn Corbray being uh, quite a good fighter. So I can either select someone to stand for his king, I can handle this myself, or no, I can't afford to lose him, return the prisoner to the cell. Would we handle this ourselves? I don't know if Robert would. I think Robert would want to handle it himself, but his council would say no. I think that's the situ situation we'd be in. Let's select someone to stand for us. So we'd select uh, Ronald Connington. We'd select... Um, Alexander Purpleheart Okay Lord Paramount uh, Hoster Tully or our Kingsguard Yeah is 100% going to be our Kingsguard Sir Bonifer Hasty shall be The one they face I'll stand for you your grace Fight well Sir Bonifer And Oh now it's our tourney uh, We also have righteous imprisonment of Lord Qualton of Bramsfort What is he doing? Also what's his wife up to if that What's that? Disfigured Ooh. Okay um, right, what are you up to? You're trying to place Lord Tywin as Master of Coin. See, that's one I don't really care about. After arriving in Duskendale, the first day of the tourney began in earnest. You tilted against many lesser knights throughout the day, most of whom you unhorsed easily. Now in the coming days, the final rounds of the list begin, and the opposition shall surely be more fierce. I shall ready my horse. Okay, we've been drawn against Sir, uh, Lord Lucifer Crab. He's not very good at dueling. Might your charge take a lance from your squire, and then we gallop. And our opponent got the better of us, unfortunately. Our lance merely makes the lancing blow whilst their lance hits true. Now, of course, this could be that we're getting our personal combat, our dual skill from somewhere that we shouldn't uh, get it from. Or, like, that doesn't affect uh, tyrannies, which might be it. But I think we just got a bad random randomness roll. And we were sent reeling, but we managed to stay on our horse. We saw an opening on the next one. And he um, was sent reeling. Then we saw another opening. And, oh, we knocked him off his horse. Fantastic. We have been declared the winner at defeating Lord Lucifer Crab in a fine joust. We have now been drawn against Sir Roderick Cassell. Well, we might be a member of our King's Guards, almost as good as we are at fighting. Let's see how we do. Our opponent got the better of us. And he knocked us off our horse? This seems awfully odd for a King's Guard to knock us off our horse. Oh, the nerve of him. Exactly. Well, he's been declared the winner, defeating us and eliminating us from the tourney. Hmm. Okay. So Kendall and Sir Roderick Cassell were the next to joust in the list. After many um, tilts and broken lances, Sir Roderick was eventually on horse, leaving Sir Kendall to be declared the winner. Our Master of Ar... Wait, is that... Yeah, Master of Arms of the Kingsguard. Okay. There we go. Another member of our Kingsguard won. Facing another member of the Kingsguard in the final. I suppose that looks good for us. <clears throat> oh, that wasn't the final. Oh, this is the final, however, and it is member of our King's Guard. It's the Lord Commander versus uh, Sir Kendall. And it looks like Lord Commander Allen was declared the winner. Well done. He truly deserves it. Right. Uh, we don't care about that righteous imprisonment. And that is the tourney over. Now we have to see how how did the um how did the trial by combat go? Did it go away? He's no longer a prisoner. Interesting. Okay. It was a long, hard night. In the end, it seems for nothing, little Rihanna never lived. Oh. And she was club-footed if she, if she had lived. Oh, the moon tea worked as planned. Oh, right. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going back to see whether we can find the result of that uh, trial by combat. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's there anywhere. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess I read the event, or maybe it got skipped because of the tourney. I don't know. As you ponder new ways to improve your realm, Master Pycelle, Maester Pycelle approaches you with an idea. Your Grace, if you were to institute a system of provincial apothecaries, the health of your subjects would improve significantly. In turn, they are sure to be more productive. Hmm. Sure. Let's do that. 
yeah, we'll follow his advice. And, um, what was I thinking here? I had a sun thought in my head, and it's gone, so it must not be important. Bryden Blackfish has declared Bry Lord Bryden's host claim on the Trident on Lord Paramount Hoster of the Trident. So he has 7.6 troops against 1,000 troops against 17,000 troops. He's unlikely to win. History is... Oh, that's what I was going to change. Um, history is subject has always fascinated you. You've spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of the Valyrian Freehold. Um, I was actually going to change us a lot over to hunting if we could. But we can't change it for another year anyway. Stannis has made sure there's never a shortage of soldiers, reinforcing our troops. And we get to kind of continue on. Uh, my liege, I write you of shocking news. Kendall tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to kill Lord Jamie of the Westlands. Um, Kendall, this will not do. We are 100% going to not invite him to court, we're going to imprison him. So Kendall's now locked away in my dungeon awaiting his fate. We will hold our trial. So Kendall has demanded trial before the court. Surprising, given that he's a good fighter. I would have thought he doesn't demand trial by combat. Or he is wounded, I suppose. Uh, which Lord Paramount John shall oversee to ensure justice is served. He begins his bent its defence, but the court does not seem impressed. Lord Paramount John stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many at court were convinced by his arguments. The end again, many seemed unimpressed. A verdict has been reached. Kendall is guilty. Well, hmm... A member of the King's Guard trying to kill another member of the King's Guard. I don't think he's going to go to the wall. I think we're having his head on a spike. Um, I think we are going to behead him. Yep. A member of the King's Guard has died. We need to appoint a new member. Are you going to give us the event? There we go. Let's see. Greatest Knights in all the realm. Lynn Corbury. Um, is a craven. We could invite to be a member of our King's Guard. Sir Tommen. Or Sir, Sir Twile. So Twyal and Sir Tommen are uh, definitely good fighters. So Twyal uh, seems like a very, very good fighter. Um, we'll go with Sir Twyal. So Twyal kneels. Your Grace, it would be the highest honour to serve in your King's Guard. Fantastic, yes. Uh, a siege was won by somebody we have a special interest. I think that was in the Trident. Uh, which probably means that the Trident are winning their war. Stokesworth uh, inherited some title. Lord John of Griffin's Roof, has, uh, Griffin's Roost has usurped the title Lordship of Gilmont. Okay, so he's taken land from the Sigwarts. Okay, interesting. Lord Paramount John of the Vale has inherited the castle of Harbottle from Sir Sirwin of Harbottle. Um, okay, Littlefinger was in prison. Interesting. Who's he? He's married to someone. Lady Zia. Ah, okay. Is he married at the start of the game? I seem to remember that name from somewhere. Uh, your Grace, for some time now, I've been an employee of Lord Paramount John, but I seek a better station. I humbly request to join you in King's Landing so I may serve you. All I ask in return is a small recompense. Sir Nestor Royce. Okay. Um, yeah, we could use you. Definitely. And Marianne is imprisoned by Lord Paramount John. Um, we could ask to ransom this prisoner. Yeah, we'll pay the ten gold for uh, our new uh, member of our court. And... Oh, what's that around her? Oh, it's a tree at the background. Okay, I thought there was like some weird thing coming out of her face. Nestor Royce can definitely um, be added to our... Let's see if we can find it. Um, oh, we don't have a bodyguards list anymore because uh, we got the King's Guard instead. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. King Robert Baratheon, I hereby invite you to participate in the Tourney of Firing Cross where the knights residing near Firing Cross will test their metal. Well, of course we'll go. We enjoy tourneys and drinking and all that good stuff. Oh, can we do the, uh, uh, what's it? The new focus? Hunting? No, September. Oh, 11 days. Uh, we made it through the first rounds of the list. We have now been drawn against a member of our King's Guard, Sir Willem Dari. Um, we see an opening. And we knock him off of his horse. A fine hit. Um, we have now been drawn against Sir Edward. Um, he's not a very good uh, jouster. And, oh, yes, there we go. We strike him, and he falls off his horse. Another fine hit. While at the tournament, I joined in a conversation with other lords about how best to collect tithes. I saw a far easier way, and it caused quite an argument uh, with many lords disagreeing with my stance. But the more I talked, the more I convinced myself I was right. 
And I am right, aren't I? We found out we're not as good a steward as we first thought. And we were declared the winner. We have now been drawn against Sir Roderick Cassell. Okay. And he got the better of us. And he knocked, off, knocked us off our horse. Now, interestingly, I believe that these tourney wins do actually increase your chance of winning future tourneys. Which I think is quite cool. Um, yes, they cheer Sir, Sir Roderick. He has been declared the winner, defeating us and eliminating us from the tourney. Uh, did we at least get third place or something? No, we didn't get uh, nearly that far through. Uh, Lord Cadwell Pebble accepted Lord Paramount John of the Vale's peace offer. Oh, although the tourney isn't over yet, we could still get third place. Um, that's the Priors have lost the war to the Arons. So Madden Moore and Sir Orin were the next Jason Lister for many tilts and broken lances. Sir Orin was fetching on horse, leaving Sir Mandan, a member of our King's Guard, uh, as the winner. Okay. And now it's the final between Sir Roderick Cassell and Sir Mandan Moore. Which Sir Roderick wins. So that gives him a win at the tourney. Well done. Well done. We did not come third. We were in the semi finals, though. The tourney ends. Although I may not have won any of the male events, my prowess in the list did not go unnoticed. Grey Plague has broken out. Is that another epidemic? Oh, wow. We have the pox all the way up there. We have the Grey Plague over here. I like all of this epidemic stuff going on. Um, yeah. One of my courtiers is capable of more than he realizes, and I want to push the courtier into being more ambitious. I believe there's great potential in that one. Justin Macy. We'll try and push him to be ambitious. Okay. My subtle ways of pushing Justin into showing his true potential have worked wonders. It's as if he realized how fun it can be to be ambitious. Good, good. There's a chance we become ambitious as well, but we already are ambitious. Weird. Okay. Cool. Uh, Lord Paramount Tywin has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of the Iron Throne. We seen as the right and honourable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants as to foster greater loyalty. Um, sure. We'll do him that. And I think that we might end uh, the series here. We've pretty much been at peace for uh, the last couple of years, and I think it's a good spot. This is pretty much where the realm was before um, the War of the Five Kings and all that. Except that we've got a slightly different style, but I want to look at where we are. So, say that this was to continue the same way that it happens, and Robert was somehow to die just before these big events. Well, Stannis would just take over at that point, unless it turned into a thing where Dorne decided that actually... Um, let's say that we have a child with uh, Lady Ariane. One of their children would likely be... Oh yes, yeah, Stannis wouldn't be heir. Stannis would step back because it would likely be a trueborn heir. Um, I don't think Lady Ariane is likely to have a non-trueborn heir, heir here. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. I assume she's not. And that would mean that Dorne would probably declare a war, saying that... Um, well, obviously the children uh, should be Martells, or like, or they should have their claim if they don't get in charge. If they do get in charge, Dorn won't care. Um, who else has a claim on the throne? Probably no one else. It would just be Stannis. Stannis probably wouldn't do anything. Renly may put in his claim to the throne, but if we have true-born children, then he may not. It could end up being Renly versus the realm, which Renly would lose. Uh, Tywin, I'm not sure where he would be going with this. Cersei's managed married to another Lannister. Jamie is a member of the King's Guard still, and Tyrion is uh, Tyrion's a knight. Wow, something went weird with Tyrion. Um, but I don't know. Maybe in his plans of trying to get rid of Ty of uh, Tyrion and get rid of Jamie being part of the King's Guard. I'm not sure how he would do that. Maybe he would try and press something. I don't know. He doesn't really have a strong position as he does in uh, the Shore books. The Iron Isles. Oh, wow. He has the pox, right? That must be the... Yeah, that's definitely the pox. Uh, and a successful treatment. Oh, cool. And that counteracts the pox 100%. Yeah. Although he is infirm as well, so he'll probably die. So um, we'll probably get uh, Quellen and Greyjoy dying. And that would lead to Balin and Greyjoy taking over. And that could lead to some uh, Greyjoy Rebellion stuff happening. The Vale, John Aaron is married to Liza Tully, and they don't have any children yet, so the Vale's future is kind of a little bit up in the air. And in the north, we have Lord Paramount Eddard, who also has the pox, successfully treated, and he's a drunkard. Interesting. So he he turned to drinking after a bit. And he has uh, Jon Snow, Lady Maria, and 
Lord Bannon. So it would probably end up being uh, Lord Bannon would take over. And uh, yeah, the North would probably be fine. Although he's going to die fairly soon. So the North may fall into a little bit more turmoil. Maybe that means by the times that the Greyjoys are thinking about doing their kind of rebellion, it means that um, the North already has a ruler who's been there for a while. It does mean that Eddard is unlikely to take in one as a... Like, as a... Um, he's unlikely to take the hostage because he'll probably be dead. So it'll be Lord Bannon in charge there. So maybe the hostage would go somewhere else. Maybe that would change things. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough of uh, theory crafting where this is going. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Actually, when I say next time, I mean I'll see you in the next series, which should be starting at the start of next week. Thank you for watching. See you then. Goodbye.